Hello everybody, this is Matt and I want to share with you an amazing tool that is going to really transform the way that you and your students read on an iPad and it's an app called Liquid Text. Uh, Liquid Text, this is what it looks like on the dashboard. Uh, this is where you can collect different documents and uh, annotate them and it has some really cool features I want to share with you. So very first thing you'll want to do is import a document. And uh, you can link your Dropbox account, your Box Drive account, other cloud-based services like Google Drive or, uh, you know, I have PDF Expert or iCloud Drive. And then you can even take a web page either from Safari or from Liquid Text's own browser and import it in here. So really, really cool options. I'm going to go to Dropbox and I already have some things that are uh, linked to this particular account. So I'm going to go in and grab an article uh, that I know that'll work. What it does is it downloads it into Liquid Text, and here's my article. Just like any old PDF user, you can once again navigate the article by just simply uh, swiping up and down to navigate uh, to zoom in the text. Obviously, you can pinch out, so I can pinch out and pinch back in. Uh, but what I like about Liquid Text is this feature right over here, which is your workspace area. And I can simply highlight like it normally would with any old uh, PDF or, or PDF viewer or annotation tool. I can actually take and highlight stuff. But now what I can do is I can actually drag stuff over here to this particular workspace. And if you notice, uh, it does mark right here that I have highlighted this. I can uh, tap on my uh, item that I drug off to the side. I can comment on it by adding some more text. Uh, the fact is that, you know, whatever you wanted to put down, you can tap and uh, move it over here. You can link it together by simply uh, dragging it over top. Um, and see that? It, it actually groups them together, uh, which is pretty neat. I can go through my document here and I can add, you know, go through and highlight something else, drag it off to the side. Uh, I can once again, I can, if I just want to highlight stuff, I can highlight stuff. Uh, and I'm just going to go through this document here and um, I can even do something called an auto expert, excerpt, which it'll automatically put it off to the side right here. And then I can move it, um, I can group it together with another item. Uh, if I wanted to keep things together, I can drag it apart. Uh, totally, totally up to you on how you do that. You can see all of your comments by simply um, pinching in and pinching out. Something else that I like too is this thing called Highlighter View, which will split your screen, okay? So I pinch my screen and it brings all of my highlights together so I can see all of my different highlights uh, in my particular document and read that. Um, I can tap on this particular uh, blue button uh, or blue line right here and what it'll do is it'll bring me to that particular comment uh, which is really helpful so I'm going to get out of highlighter view and another thing I can do too is I can use these navigation tools up here I'm just gonna hit the back arrow and uh, it's gonna show me what I was previously looking at um, I can go forward and it'll bring me to the uh, the next location that I was working at. So it's almost like a history of uh, what you were doing in your document. I can even search my document as well. And if I wanted to search my um, document for the word English, okay, so I'm gonna do that. What it'll do is it'll search my document and I can pinch my document together to see different results. Isn't this cool? So I actually could see that there are 13 results. I can hit next. It'll show me all of the different items right here. Uh, I can hit done. Uh, and once again, I even have the option of sharing this document with other people uh, through all kinds of different options right here. I can send an email copy. I could send a PDF copy or using a cloud-based service to do that. So awesome tool. And then if I go right here to the home button, I can see that I have my, whoops, let me tap on the home button right here. I can see I have my article right here. I can swipe over to the side, I can delete it. I can rename it. Just an awesome tool if you aren't using liquid text. I totally, totally recommend that you check this out because it will transform the way not only you read text, uh, but also your students.